I am. It's um, Thursday evening. I'm by myself. A very strange uh, situation because that's because everybody went to Disneyland without me. Well, there's not much I can do about it. I have to go to work. So I'm out here by myself, kind of. Of course, I have these guys. What was that? There's Boomer. There's Bootsy. Freckles is outside. I'm left with the mess that I'll clean up. But I do actually have one more thing that I would like to try and do on this wall. Um, there's a power, the power comes in at the wall here. And it has a, a, the original wire. It's split. It goes to here and I have a junction box and it goes down to here. And there's a junction box and over here is a junction box. And then over here is a junction box. I am going to see if I can eliminate all the junction boxes and put in a heavier gauge copper wire. Uh, the, the power that's coming in is at a, about a 115, 113, 115. By the time it gets all the way over to here, it's at 103. So I'm thinking maybe it's the wires. So I'm going to give it a try tonight while I'm by myself and nobody complaining. So here we go. So here are my plans for right now. I'm going to uh, cut another hole in here. I'm going to use my circle hole cutter. Uh, it's a three and a half inch that I get my hand in quite easily. These are actually quite easy to fill. You just make sure you keep the piece you cut out. You'll be able to not, uh, put it back in and putty it all up. Now I know there's a two by four right here. And there's probably one over here, so I'm going to cut somewhere in the middle here. So I see if I can find the wire. It should be running to here because this is where the wire's coming out. I'm hoping it doesn't go over there. Not that I care because I may just eliminate it and just just run the wire where I want to run it. me worried there for a minute. I thought I was hitting pipe. I've got two by four here. And I should be able to get wire from here over to here. Gonna probably have to drill a couple of holes in two by fours. I hopefully I won't have to cut any more of these, although it looks like I may have to. So I ended up having to drill a second hole just to see where my wire was. And it's actually right here. You can see it moving. Uh, and it goes up and, up and down. So uh, I don't have to do that though. I'm certainly not going to take this out. So I'm going to have to drill a hole through an existing 2x4 to get to that box. So. Um, Hopefully, this is going to be long enough. I do have longer ones, but uh, the whole the size of the hole is kind of prohibitive. So let's see what we can get away with. managed to do it. It's a real pain, but I did. Now this is what I gotta put through. This is a uh, coil of gauge wire, opposed to the 14 that I've been using. And I'm going to start here, fish it through, and that's where I'm gonna end today because it's getting already getting kind of late and I'm tired. Go bed, put this log up.
All right, so instead of trying to fish out all of this wire that's in here, I'm just going to cut it, get it out of the way. So no turning back now. by the original electrician and of course you know where all the holes are that I created I'm going to have to do is to move the stove, bring this down to the um, outlet here. I can cut it there and then run it from the bottom of the stove up to here and all the way over to the second junction box over here. So we have two junction boxes, the ones from where I, uh, I uh, moved everything over here. So I'm going to run a wire all the way from here down to the, the bottom underneath the stove. Then I'm going to run a wire from there up to where the microwave is. So there will be only uh, one, two, three places that it's going to actually be a split and the wires are going to be cut. And we're using a heavier gauge wire. Hopefully that will uh, give me less resistance. Okay, that's all I have for today. I'm close. Tired. And if they don't come home soon, you're going to have to put up with me doing shout outs. How do you like that? Alright guys, it's time for shout outs and I'm here by myself except for Bones here. So Bones and I are getting the hangout behind the bar. Um, also, since Val's not here, I got to wear my favorite shirt without any complaints. <laughs> Uh, I've got a few things I wanted to shout out about. Uh, we had some quizzes going on about uh, some of the pictures that were in the room in 33 Raven. And uh, the first one was a picture that had Peter Laurie in it. And um, Terry Johnson correctly uh, named Cantafloss, who is a, was a very, very well-known actor from Mexico. Very prolific in the, the 40s and the 50s. It's from a movie called Around the World in 80 Days. Um, funny because uh, Peter Lorre also starred in a movie called uh, Five Weeks in a Balloon, which was very similar. So, uh, the, mo the other picture that we kept asking about took a couple of days, but um, Terry Johnson also figured that one out. Uh, it's an actually a pretty obscure movie called The Raven. It came out in 1935. It uh, starred Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. Um, it, very strange movie. I think I saw it once 30 years ago, so I really can't tell you a whole lot about it except I remember it. Um, and I think it's out of print, so it would be hard to try to find it. Maybe it isn't. Let me know if it isn't. Maybe we'll take a look at it. Um, Tanya Longley gave it a shot. Sorry, Tanya. It's not Frankenstein. The wrong guy is on the slab. All right? <laughs> so, here we go. I'm just going to go do the neighborhood community shout-outs. 
Jack Adams, Katie Caroline, Lucy Blue Bones, Daniel Scott, Christopher Trecho, Clay Bad with Usernames, Selena G Love, 487, also known as Brian, Tom Show, Rex25059, ZZ Epic Dude ZZ, Dana Besaw, Marin Brenda Smith, Daphne Sheehan, Lucy and Autumn, Samantha L, Domestic Goddess, Alien K18, also known as Kimmy, Destiny Hall, Sammy and Air, The Abyss 92882, Meet the Presleys, Charlena Higdon, Skylar Chantel, Shaley and Shaden, Ground Dome, Whitney Broderson, Justina C, and SG Sprint Car 1. All right, guys, I can't remember what Val always says, but uh, you know the gist of it, man, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And dudes, we really appreciate it. Love you all. Thumbs up.